Hey guys, Brandon here from Homes on Wheels, and today we're going to be touring a Cavalier home. This home is called the Anderson. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what the inside of this home looks like. One thing to notate as we are walking in is this not nice little jut in, so you do have a covered entryway before you even have to build a porch on this home. That's always nice. I know that I do not like having to unlock a door in the rain. Sorry about all the road noise. Oh, this is a very nice house. It has a different layout. This home is actually 1,956 square feet. So it's a pretty good size house. Right here to the left, as soon as you walk in, you have a nice coat closet that is rather deep. That's one of the deeper coat closets in most of the homes that I've been in. You can see that this home is outlined with darker trim. So you kind of got a different feel than most. A lot of times homes go with a lighter trim. But I do like this because all the walls in here are light colored and it really makes that trim stand out. So as soon as you walk in though, after you pass the coat closet, you are welcomed by this gigantic rock fireplace. Now this home is not finished being set up. They gave me for fair warning about that, but I wanted to take the time to show it to you. Now we have been taking note of the comments about these homes and how you didn't like our cameras fish eyeing. So today we're trying a different setting on our camera, hoping that it fixes the wide angle for y'all and hopefully it won't be too shaky. That's one thing about the fish eye on the camera is it does help stabilize the camera a bit, but everybody seemed to not like it. So we're going to try something new. That fireplace is really nice. Nice electric fireplace, plenty of room for that 65 inch TV right in time for football season. I'm glad that we're having one. I really thought that COVID was going to can that. Got three big bay windows right here. And the way that they've got it laid out is really nice. They've got a chair over here and a chair over here. And then they've got your couch. You can either put a sectional or you could put a love seat over there against the windows as well. And you can notice it is a wide open floor plan that leads right into the kitchen with another massive island. So you can look over here. If we turn to the right, you've got a nice built in workstation that comes in handy for people like me who work from home a lot. I have to do a lot of stuff from the house and that would be a really handy area to set up my laptop and do as much work as I can in that little nook. Looks like that may be the master. I think we're going to save that for last. Let's walk towards the kitchen. Looks like they've got the nice built-in Ecobee thermostat that can be controlled from your smartphone. And there again, this kitchen is loaded with cabinets. Holy cow. You've got a big, nice eating area right here. They've got two stools on this side. They may have some on the other. They do not, but you could put two over here as well. So you've got a spot to seat four people right there and eat without a problem. Right there is probably going to be your pantry style cabinets. And these things, guys, are the deepest cabinets. I mean, they're all the way to my shoulder. They're a good two foot deep. Well built, big cabinets. Plenty of room for all the food you wanted to put in there. And these darker style cabinets flow nicely with that dark trim, as mentioned earlier. I like that the hood vent in this one's a little bit more sleek and narrow. Just makes it feel a little bit more open in here. Nice stainless steel hood vent range, nice stainless steel stove. I like the white countertops that are in here. That is a single basin farm style sink with the industrial style faucet. Your dishwasher is on this side actually built into the island with plenty more cabinets over here on this side. Now this home has a pretty good price. We're going to talk about that in a minute once we get through with the tour. So y'all hang in there. And if you're not subscribed, please be sure that you are because we do tours like this every week. Man, and all the cabinets on this side. So you've actually got two or three open cabinets on either end that you could put whatever you wanted to in there, but you've got all these cabinets that are just super deep. I don't know what you'd put in all these cabinets. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look over here at the dining room. Kind of got a little partition between you and the dining room, maybe to just cut down some of the kitchen noise if you had some people in here eating with you. And I love the fact that this dining room has all the windows all the way around it. Very, very nice. Right here to the right is actually, wow, this is your pantry. So those cabinets over there don't have to be for a pantry. And then once you walk past this pantry, here's your side door where you can build a nice carport on it. You walk into the laundry room or the mud room. 
So that's really, really nice to have that big of a pantry. That's probably one of the biggest pantries I've seen in a house, actually. So if it's, you know, if you're somebody who likes to stack canned goods, this might be the home for you. There again, this side door does make it where if in the future you ever decided to build on a garage or a carport, with the door being on the end of the home, it makes it that much easier to do that. This pantry though, man, that, this is the pantry house. That's how I'm going to remember it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bedrooms in this home and see what they look like. So when you walk right here, your kitchen's to the right. You look to the left, you've got a nice big guest bathroom right here with a single piece tub unit. The countertops continue into the bathroom. Right here to the left is a nice size bedroom, your first guest bedroom that we're going to go in with a good size closet. And I believe that these rooms are almost identical in size. Plenty of room for a full bed or a twin bed, or you could probably even fit a queen bed in here without a problem. Plenty of room if you got a couple of kids to stick them away down here. And the master bedroom that we're headed to now is actually on the opposite end of the home, like I said earlier, right off of the living room. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Y'all know that's one of my favorite places in a home, is definitely the master bedroom and bath. And this is a good sized bedroom, guys, with a ton of light. Oh my goodness, I just got a sneak peek of the bathroom. You are going to die. It's awesome. So, this is one of the things I really like about a home with a closet this size is they've got the window in here to let the natural light in. Got your light fixture right up there. Now, let's go ahead and look at that nice barn style door before we walk into that oasis of a bathroom. I can already see that it has a deep soaking tub. Man, that's a nice tub. If you look to the right, you've got a massive section with two sinks on it. You've got your mirrors right above that with a shelving right above the sink. That shelf can come in handy to put your toothpaste, toothbrushes, all that kind of fun stuff. Lots and lots of cabinets in here as well. But that tub right there is definitely a highlight focal point of this bathroom. I mean, when you look in here, that's the first thing you see when you look through the door is that nice barnwood wall backed up by the deep soaking tub. Right across from that tub, if you're laying in here, you turn around and boom, you've got three big bay windows that are amazing. You got built-in can lights in here, which is really nice because you don't have a light fixture hanging down overhead to make the ceilings feel low. You can see they've actually got a chair set up right there for the husband that'll be waiting on the wife to get out of the tub. You have to coax her out. Right behind the tub is a nice tile shower. Big basin in it. Got a shower head on the right and a rain head shower head above. Big closet there for or for your towels or anything you want to put in there. Or if your wife's like mine, I'll probably end up with that closet and she would take the big closet. <laughs> and over here on this side is your toilet closet, which is really nice. I mean, I don't know. This house has so much storage in it. It's pretty ridiculous. Well, I hope that y'all enjoyed this tour, but let's go ahead and go in here and talk about the price on this home before we go to the next home. So what do y'all think this price is priced at right now? I will tell you this, this price is subject to change. Just like anything, there's a lot of cost increases going on. So as of today, when this was filmed, this home is currently priced at $119,500, $119,500. And you can see on there, they even notated that this has two by six walls in it. So a lot of times mobile homes may have two by four walls. It being two by six makes it that much more sturdy. So that's really not a bad price, guys. Super excited about that. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the tour, and we will catch you guys in the next home.